Quilters often find it puzzling that you have to add 7 8 seam allowance. Um, so let me explain this. I have a little graphic here. If you take your square and you add a quarter inch seam all the way around and then you cut it in half on the diagonal, you'll see that this center part doesn't have any seam allowance. So you're going to have to figure out that you add a quarter inch and this quarter inch, quarter inch, and this quarter inch. Um, so it, it looks like it would be four quarters of an inch, which would be um, an extra inch. However, because these are on the diagonal, they're just a sliver short when you measure it from being a uh, quarter of an inch. And it works out that the, these two measurements together add up to three-eighths of an inch. So we've got a quarter of an inch plus three-eighths plus a quarter of an inch. And when you add that all together, you get seven-eighths of an inch. You can find more information about cutting and sewing half-square triangles at learnhowtoquilt.com under Beginner Basics, Cutting and Sewing.